I just thought I'd bring this up. This is how long grub takes to load on every single boot. Ready? This is unacceptable, by the way. It really is. It takes longer than the operating system to boot, actually. It's, it's so funny. Shit like this should be banned. The Linux logo doesn't do this. Well, that took forever. Look, 1.97 beta 4. See, it's not even stable. Oh. The whole system is a joke. Right down to the bootloader. It re it's really stupid. Uh -uh. That was fading in and out the other day. How come it changes on its own accord? This this is stupid. This is really funny though, because oh, I thought Ubuntu was supposed to be the brilliant, great operating system that everyone used. You know, I thought you said it was you know the best. Well, I'm sorry, but I found Mandriva, OpenSUSE, for even Fedora to run better than this. You know. And I'm glad that I use Slackware, to be honest. I really am. Because this shit like this is just its just unacceptable. It really is. When I rebooted the system, it didn't automatically detect that Network Manager was removed. Which is, you know, it should have done this. Fedora's done this. I've tested. I've tested removing Network Manager on Fedora. It automatically picked up that it's not there and started using normal networking all over again. Just like you would expect. So, the main thing about this is, if someone was using Ubuntu and they removed Network Manager by accident or something or it stopped working, they're going to be fucked, they're going to be without networking and if they can't fix it or they don't have another box to get on the internet they're fucked! They really are, they're, they're going to have to reinstall the operating system and they probably will anyway because that seems to be what happens all the time over there so you can fix it by doing this I've already added this automatically by the way, but this should work for most configurations. Okay. And then you've got to restart networking. It's simple enough. So yeah, you just learnt a tip. But yeah, that, that's just stupid. It, there's no excuse for this at all. I, I find this... I think this is terrible really. It really is. We've still got one broken package on our system. That's that wine package I showed you yesterday. It's still broken. I haven't bothered fixing it yet because I'm going to show you what the fuck you have to do to do this and it's absolutely ridiculous. Just like everything else in Hapt. It really is. Um, so let's let's sort this out. I'm going to have to change the sound scheme to... So look, let's... I'm assuming that's search, yeah. Let's search for wine. Right. Now this is easy enough. You look for the depends line. And you remove everything on it. This is the best way i found of doing this. And then just type wine in there, because wine's already installed. The dependencies have solved as far as I'm concerned. So let's close that. Let's go back into shitty synaptic, by the way, which I hate as well. But we want that's that's not for here. Um, look, no broken packages. So now, if we want to install more shit, look at all this again. I know Happy Word doesn't need all this. And then click apply. Look, it's not going to remove anything. How awesome is that? But that was a really long roundabout way of doing this. On Yast, all you have to do is click ignore this package or on the newer version 11.2 just click break this package by ignoring dependencies and that's it that's all you ever hear from it if you know what you're doing it doesn't matter because you, you know it's not going to break so this is what this should have but I know it won't it never has done you know it, it's stupid it, well it hasn't as, as long as I've been using it anyway well it, it's, it speaks for itself really let's add that to the list Uh, 
I'm gonna upload this list somewhere for you to access, you know, once the videos are done, just for the fucking fun of it, you know. Not that it's gonna give you anything. Oh, by the way, I found out this is 1.97 beta 4. Ugh. I've I've recorded a video of Grub2 booting, and it's ridiculous. It takes longer than longer than the system almost. It's so silly. This brings me on to my next point now. I'm gonna look at that. I've un I've unmarked that, but it's not gonna unmark the dependencies. So actually, I never knew about this before. So that's something to add to the list. I'm not sure if this is an app problem or a synaptic problem, but no, it's actually got to be synaptic to be honest, because you can just cancel the app command. That's stupid. I'm gonna have to look into that because I'm sure that, that there must be a way to ignore that. Uh, no. Oh, wine is locked now, by the way. See, I had to force it to... Oh. Right, now, th this is an issue, right? Flash. Please don't tell me it's, it's Adobe's issue, because this isn't what I'm saying here. This is package-related. What for installation? And this plugin wrapper... What it's going to do is, it's going to pull in the 32-bit version of Flash. Now, the 64-bit version has been out since February, I believe. Now, I know it's alpha, but it's probably more stable than running the 32-bit version through NS plugin wrapper. So why not package it or at least give us the option to do so? It, it's so stupid. You know, it it's just bringing in un unneeded stuff again. Now, if I hadn't installed Wine early, I'd have the whole 32-bit fucking lot of packages to install there just to use Wine, and it's it's not needed. So at least give them an option to try the 64-bit version first. You know, come on. Again, it's basic stuff which is being overlooked here. It, it's really not that much of a problem. And this font rendering is horrible. This is personal preference, but I, I don't know. What do you think? It, I don't like it. Let's fix it. It's so slow still, by the way. And it's not because I'm recording. That's so much better. Don't you think? It really is. Yeah, I think it's, it's definitely better. By the way, I want to bring up something about sudo, or whatever you want to fucking call it. I, I think it's a full security, you know, it gives you a full sense of security, really. I can use it within 15 minutes of each other, you know. You may as well not have it at all. Let's see, I, you know I haven't used this for a while. So, look at that, I didn't have to type my password in again. <laughs> it's, it's... It, it boggles my mind, really, how they can say it's more secure than uh, Windows, you know. It's not, because of this 15-minute timeout. Then you, you moan about UAC. Why? Don't. Don't do it. Because this is just as bad, if not worse, you know. It's terrible. I know that if I was on UF now, I'd get flamed for this, but there's an easy way to fix that. See? And now we can exit, and if we want to use root again, you see, we have to write our password again. That's the way it should be. You know. That's the way it should be. So let's see what happens if we try and remove, um, sudo. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, we can't do that, can we? Because I'm going to break stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets worse, it really does. <laughs>